So I think I made it pretty clear on this channel that I do not, I do not like pastors that make too many jokes beyond the pulpit. I just don't like it. I've never liked it. It's it's a joke here and there is okay, but I've always been, even even the joke here and there. Um, and one of the biggest reasons why I don't like when pastors make, too, especially on serious topics, make too many jokes uh, during or in the midst of their sermon is because uh, I think it's good to understand. Especially, I had somebody email me a couple weeks ago, a young brother, and he talked to me about listening to a John Piper sermon on depression. I believe the the topic may have been depression, and he's been struggling with that. And in the midst of the sermon, and John Piper's sermon was amazing. This is not an attack on John Piper. Um, in the midst of his sermon on a hope in the midst of depression, John Piper makes a joke, and people laugh, and it just pissed this guy the guy who was emailing me, it kind of just kind of like it frustrated him because he's like i'm looking for answers and why you guys la stop laughing like and i felt that because I've, I've experienced that before um now again this is not a strike against john Papert or any any pastor that i hold in high regard it's just the jokes sometimes are are misplaced um and i just have never really liked that uh some pastors it's like it's, it's almost like the sermon becomes a a, a, a comedy skit. It, it just it just waters down the seriousness of the gospel or the the gospel presentation, and I think it deters people's mindsets um, who are listening to the sermon. But but there is a but. Vody Balcom has always done a great job of if he does tell a joke, it's always in line with the topic of the sermon, and it also fits his point. Perfectly. I mean, he, I mean, he has a way of fitting in that joke to kind of uh, finish off the point of the topic. And he does it well. I think he does it better than any pastor I've ever seen. Now, I want to show you guys an excerpt of a recent sermon that he just preached in which he made a joke about feminists. Now, the reason this joke hits home for me is because I work with a woman, an older woman, who has been a feminist for 40, 50, 40 years Okay, and she vehemently stands on this point that Vody is about to joke about, and uh, it's it's sad. It's really sad. Uh, so go ahead and check out this hilarious point that Vody makes about what feminists love to boast. Marriage and wives are called to submit themselves to their own husbands as to the Lord. This is not something that we ought ever to back away from, although many have backed away from it, and so. We have a, a, a two front war on this issue. Number one, we, we have a war with the culture at large that hates the patriarchy. Not, not, not patriarchy, the patriarchy. That's how the educated people refer to it. They hate the patriarchy because the patriarchy is evil. And so we have the world out there, we have the culture out there that, that hates the patriarchy. And so we have, you know, women, for example, who decide that, you know, because they hate the patriarchy, when they get married, they're not going to take their husband's name, right? I'm an independent woman. I don't take the name of that man. I'll keep my father's name instead. So that's, 